Listen, I'm not gonna waste your time. I've been meaning to make an anime-inspired OBS stinger transition for a while now. Basically those scenes where someone gets slashed, whoosh, whoosh, and then nothing happens, and then they slowly fall apart. So I did that. I'm gonna start by showing you the transition, then I'm gonna show you how to use it. Yes, I will provide the files for free, and then I'm gonna explain how I did it. All right, let me show you. All right, so you're here playing your game, chilling in OBS Studio, and you wanna switch back to your just chatting scene. I'm gonna click on scene, and this happens. That's it. And then of course, you know, you're chatting, you're chatting. Time to get back into the game. You click and your stinger transition does that. Very simple. As you probably figured out, we are using both a stinger transition and also a track mat transition. The stinger transition being the slashes that appear on top of whatever. And then the track mat being a black and white animation, white reveal, black hides, that will represent the reveal from scene A to scene B. So under your scene transitions, you can add a new stinger and we're gonna explain how they work. Here you usually have a video file. And those are the four videos that I'm gonna provide. Let me just put the slashes just to show you. But now I have just the slashes. Transition point time, we want it to be the full percentage of the whole video. So that's going to be three seconds. And then use a track mat is the option we're going to use later. But let's just preview the slashes. In this case, it'll be it slashes. And then after three seconds, it switches. So if you want to do something with that, I will provide this file also. And now I just want to show you the alpha mat for the transition. If I do preview transition, you're going to see this is full and it falls apart. So that's the animation I created for the track mat. Let me turn on use a track mat and we will see our options. We have same file, side by side, stinger on the left, track mat on the right. Same file, stacked, stinger on top, track mat at the bottom or mask only. Mask only, for example, if you don't want to use the slashes and you just want to use that one video file, you can preview. In this case, uh, the colors are inverted, so you would just invert matte colors and there you go. So in this case, you know, the whole white reveal black hides, you can invert the color, so it's fine. But for the full thing, we need to use same file stack, stinger on top, track mat at the bottom. In this case, it's going to be this file right there. You can see that there are different shape. You can see the track mat at the bottom and then the slashes basically appear on top and it knows how to stack it. You're going to find anime slash transition by gal level and you're also going to find audio underscore anime slash by gal level. So if you don't want the audio, you can just use this one that just doesn't have any audio. OK, transition point still 3000 milliseconds. We have stack and now we can preview. So slash slash and then the track mat takes over and that's it. Click OK and it's our stinger four. you can rename it if you want to call it slash or whatever. And now if I switch from my just chatting scene and I want to go to my gameplay, it's going to slash and then fall apart into my other scene. That's that's all there is to it. So that was how to use it. Let me show you how I achieved the animation for those who are interested. All right. So here in Adobe After Effects, what I did is create one single line with the pen tool. You just click and then I give it a little a little bit of thickness like this. Then inside the contents, I clicked on add animation and that's trim path. So on the trim path, I basically played with the start and the end and see how it goes. Boom, boom, boom. Let's say if I want this to slash up, I can set the end to be zero, set a keyframe, go further down, set it to 100. So now it fills basically whoop, like that. And then for the start, I can set a keyframe, move it a little bit and set it to 100. All right, so it can go up, fill and disappear. Now I can overlap this and I can also make it happen way faster. Just just like that. And that's how you do a little slash. I can click on add animation again and I can go on multiply. Is it multiply? Repeater. There you go. Repeater will create basically copies of it, but a little offset. So under repeater, there's transform repeater. You can set the amount of copies that you want. And you can play around with the position. You can play around with the scale and it's proportional, as you can see. So we already created some sort of wide slash. To give it the weird glow, I added an adjustment layer like this, and I added a Gaussian blur. Bumped it up a little bit so you can see it's blurring everything. So on that adjustment layer, we just needed to lower the opacity 50%, for example. And now we have some sort of a glow. There is a glow effect, but it creates shadows and I didn't want to deal with that. And that's it. That's how you create a slash animation. Of course, the timing was a little bit better. I had frame interpolation. You can press like F9 to ease in, ease out, make the animation a little smoother. And that's for the slash. Here we have the 
falling apart. And basically I created one white solid and then I created three masks. You can see top part, middle part, bottom part, and you can see I named them. Then I duplicated it and made sure I separated them. Then from there, if I press U, you can see that I just keyframed the position and rotation. Top part being the first, so it's gonna take the longest, but everything stops at the same spot. As in, by the end, everything is off frame. So for the position of the top part, it being that that long means that it's gonna move slower, right? Gonna move the slowest, and then they're gonna follow, but, and pick up the speed very fast. Another thing that's important to note is that I also played with the keyframe interpolation. Also, I really pulled that. So it's really a slow, 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 slow start. And then the speed basically peaks towards the end, just like a real object falling, basically. And in this case, for these, I basically right click keyframe assistant and ease out. So slowly move out of that position. And that's it. Finally, I created a composition where I just put the two compositions on top of each other. I layered uh, two of those slash sounds right there. I sped the first one up so it sounded different, but it's the same sound. And you can see at the bottom, I just have the two compositions just in place. I used the align tools of After Effects right there to align them and exported them. Of course, in this case, they have to be on top of each other. So the composition is twice the height of 1080p comp setting, and that is 2160. That's it sent it to Media Encoder, exported it. And those are the four files that you will find in the description. There will be a download link. Those are WebM files. So if you're using software that can modify them, use something that supports WebM. If not, then, well, I just thought you had to do it. You can do this in every software. Pretty sure CapCut has keyframe assistant, so you can probably like do this in on your phone, to be honest. Also, the anime slashes, I created them myself because I didn't want to use stock footage and I didn't want to use other people's stuff. But if you type anime slash stock footage, you're going to see there's a bunch of them on YouTube with green screens and stuff like that. There's multiple types, so it's not something that's hard to find. OK, one last time you're chilling, you're playing the game. You want to go back to your just chatting scene slash slash falls apart. There you go. All right. If you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to do more projects like that. If you have any ideas for stinger transitions, overlays, widgets and all that, leave them in the comment section below and make sure you follow me on Twitch if you like talking about that kind of stuff. Thank you so, so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level out at what you use it for. In this case, they click on anime zoom and this happens. Go to the channel point, find it, anime split screen and redeem. <laughs> You're live streaming. Someone goes to your channel points. They see Persona 5 speech bubble. They type some text. They press enter. And this happens. <laughs> and then after five seconds, it goes away on its own.